Now, the second stage of translation is elongation. So here we have our ribosome and our first tRNA with the purple amino acid methionine up there at the top. Now what's going to happen next is the next codon, CAU, will code for another tRNA. Now this transfer RNA has a, a different amino acid attached to the top. Now the two amino acids um, will have a peptide bond form between them. The ribosome will or <laughs> sorry, uh, once there's a peptide bond, which is kind of hard to see here because I have it in black, but this is the peptide bond formed between the two amino acids. Um, now the amino acids are attached, and the first tRNA leaves, and the ribosome moves down the messenger RNA. Where the next tRNA can come in, a peptide bond is formed, the tRNA leaves, the ribosome moves down to the next codon, CUA, the amino acid um, comes in, with the tRNA, a peptide bond forms, the tRNA leaves, and we move down. This is uh, elongation. And now the average um, protein in a eukaryote has about 400 uh, amino acids. So in my picture here, so far I only have five. Um, uh, so I've simplified it quite a bit. And this is elongation.